So greetings, I'm Dean Sir. I'm president and co-founder of MLD Foundation, actually celebrating 23 years this year at the, the World Symposium. Part of us thinks we've, we're coming to the finish line, but we're actually coming around, you know, the first lap around the finish line. Um, actually, as I mentioned, you know, tw 20 plus years doing this, our first gene therapy meeting was in 2005. Uh, and uh, in 2020, the end of 2020, just before COVID, or actually the early parts of COVID, uh, there was an EMA approval of the therapy, the gene therapy in Europe. Uh, it was approved over there first because it was developed in Italy. Uh, in, uh, let's see, a year ago, so February of 2022, we received a nice approval from the United Kingdom, from their, um, their drug advisory, uh, their, their repayment, their access and reimbursement uh, uh, payment organization, which is a really high bar, very challenging uh, to, to get there. Um, so, so both pieces of that, the science and medical piece, and now getting reimbursement in place. So we've made excellent progress. It's been a long time, but, uh, but I'm pleased to say where we are. Therapy's not approved yet in the U.S. That process, uh, the negotiations of the FDA, we're not doing that, of course. The, the biopharma sponsored Orchard Therapeutics is doing that. But that's underway. Um, they will be making their BLA filings shortly, you know, when, whenever, whatever shortly is for the biopharmas. Uh, but they're making good progress. In parallel with that, uh, we've been working, oh my goodness, since about 2014 or so on newborn screening for MLD, getting the assay in place, doing the pilot studies, and uh, now doing some, um, some live studies or, or dealing with, you know, in, in public health systems. Uh, still consented at this point, but there's a large study going on in Germany, um, a study that's ramping up the Screen Plus project in New York that has, I believe, 14 disorders uh, on it right now. And we're gathering that data. There's been three, three babies identified so far, uh, is kind of uh, causing us to rethink perhaps our incidence number already, rethink our incidence numbers and uh, even the, the, not just the, the raw incidence, but the incidence of the various forms of the disease. So very exciting times, you know, these are all, these are all good uh, challenges and opportunities. So it's, it's nice to come here and smile a lot about not just progress, but progress with, a, with an approved stamp on it. Those are the good things.